Uh, this is uh, Thunder with um, Grayland.com, where, you know, it's been about, uh, John, what's it been about a week? Uh, it's been, well, we had the weekend where we kind of filled last weekend putting them in. So we're kind of right now, Monday night, it's been a, almost a full week then of having our technology out there. Yep, it's been, uh, we started putting it in on the uh, 3rd of November. All right. And we got, you know, <clears throat> they have piles of historic data out there as what we consider a solid baseline, breaking everything down. Uh, what's our numbers looking like, John? Okay. Um, we're, we're starting to see some trending uh, downward on our energy. Now, if you recall, since our production <coughs> varies every day, we track everything in a, uh, uh, a unit per ton of yogurt made. So they track the energy up here on this line, how many uh, uh, kilowatts per ton of, unit of yogurt. They, uh, this one here is the amount of natural gas used per ton of, kilowatt, per, uh, ton of yogurt. They track their water, the refrigeration. So a lot of these main expenses and utilities are tracked by that way. And what we're seeing, and so what that also gives us is the ability. So if a day, one day is like right here, they did 249 tons that day, you know, and five days earlier they did 645. Since it's all over the board, we can take that, though, and jump, go back historically and find something that's close. Right. And see uh, where we might be relative to the to a day that was not uh, being influenced by the holograms. So let's take um, typically the weekend slows down, or the production in the plant slows down over the weekend. So let's take uh, the eleventh, which was Friday, even though that was kind of a slow day. Um, we actually have two days that are quite that are almost identical. And if you go up here, and this is what we're starting to see is this general trending. This one here, this line, is the refrigeration coefficient of performance. So the higher that number, the more efficient this system gets. And so we started on the third. We were about, you can see before the third, everything was running about 3.5, 3.6. Uh, we had a day that, we, you know, you'll get some spikes when you get, uh, a spike like this can be due to two factors. One, they had a lot of production, or two, the energy con energy uh, requirements were down. So this particular day, the uh, uh, I'm not sure why it spiked, but I think it had to do more with the amount of production that they had. But if you'll look at this this line here, as it goes along, it's generally trending up. We're going from an average of 3.5 to 3.6 up to 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 4.0, 3.9, 4.1. That was last Saturday was 4.1. So it's looking like our energy um, is actually going down on the refrigeration so uh, or on the thermal. So I, I don't know how to really explain that. Thunder, you might be able to explain that a bit better, but our efficiency bottom line in refrigeration is going up. That, that, you did explain it fine with that answer right there. I, I was going to come up with the same. Your efficiency is, is increasing. If you win at efficiency, you win the race. It's not, it's kind of rocket scientist, but science, but it's not. It's more advanced. It's quantum. Right. It's, it's information telling matter how to behave. And in this case, we are telling the walls to behave more like space shuttle tile, where it's a super insulated system, and thus not requiring as much cold air to be generated to keep the plant colder. Um, on the electrical side of things, you know, you, there's a lot of motors that uh, you guys have happening out there in that. Yeah, we've, we've got about 750, 800 motors in here. And they're running and you're anywhere from a half a horsepower to, you know, 500, 600 horsepower motors. Exactly. So there's a lot of, a lot of transient pulls uh, off that. So the, you know, the, the breaker box system is also helping the wiring and the engines uh, run more efficient. Efficient. We saw yeah. your, um, we saw the engines on the, 
RPMs on the motors, you know, decrease and the load was still um, steady or colder, you know, and the yeah. temperature was uh, reduced. So, you know, it was easy for us to, to just use a, a basic thermometer and, and you're monitoring here to know that we have an ideal scenario to test this technology on. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, speaking of the energy, uh, we'll go to the electricity. This, uh, this line right here is our electricity consumption line. Uh, this one is the total energy, this one's electricity, and this line right here is for the natural gas. So let's go down here. Um, this is a, kind of an interesting, we'll go with these two days that were identical on the generally trending. We go up here and see that uh, for the most part, they both produced the same amount of yogurt for that, or tons of yogurt that day, but the energy consumption on the second day was 149 relative to the 160. So continuing to trend down. 217. Okay, these those are very good numbers because we arrived pretty much on Friday and then we started uh, additional the next day. Um, that's great. We got uh, the 10th and the 11th are side by side identical production numbers. Right. Okay, now let's go to this one right down here. It says 645. And that's on the 9th of November. Okay. So we've been at this about six days. We'll come over here to um, 636. That's, that's uh, on November 1st. That's two days before we started bringing holograms in here. So if we look at our energy consumption on the 1st, it shows 122 kilowatts per ton of yogurt for 636 tons. We come back over here to the ninth. We also see 122 kilowatts, but for 645 tons. So there's almost uh, nine or ten more tons. So in a sense, we're trying to find something that's similar to find out if the trend is there, and, and it does show that there's a decrease in energy consumption to achieve basically, actually we're getting more for the same amount of energy, so it is becoming more efficient. Spectacular tracking, spectacular due diligence. People can say what they want, but numbers speak a different truth. Yeah, and this is... Uh, this is very empirical, and they stay on this every day um, on tracking this. So I think we're generally trending down, just like we were hoping to. Um, I guess uh, right now I could uh, – did you want to go out there, and I'll take the uh, infrared gun, and we'll go take some readings out on, um, out on that cold floor and see sure. what we got? Sure. I'm going to make it a two-part here. Um, until next okay. time. Uh, this is John Taylor out in um, Utah. What's the name of your website, John? Uh, Prana Energy. Prana N-R-G dot com. That's a great name for a wonderful factory authorized rep who's out there in the factory um, using technology powered by Grayland.com. Thank you.